G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you my first actual tank review. Um, it's not going to be very in-depth because I'm not that sort of person who can just shout out about different information. But I'll just run through what the uh, what the basics are. So this is the T-34-3 Chinese Tier 8 Premium Tank. I got this for Christmas, courtesy of my lovely wife. And uh, it's it's among one of the many tanks I've got for Christmas. So I've got the SU-2244, the IS-6, the E-25, um, Type 64, and there was another one, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right. The Fury which I will also do a review on at some point when I can find it. There it is. I made that was my primary so I can actually start playing it. Anyway, back to the T-343. That's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> okay, so T-343. It's a Chinese premium tank. Uh, one of the only medium tanks um, with limited MM at tier 8. In fact, I believe it is the only current one you can buy apart from the Super Pershing that plays like a medium. Um, as you can see from the stats over here, it's got 1300 hit points, which is pretty cool. Um, it rests around 40, well, 36 tons once uh, fully upgraded. Um, it has 520 horsepower, uh, sorry, yeah, horsepower. 50 top speed, which I never seem to get to unless I'm going downhill. Um, the traverse speed's pretty good, which is um, quite useful, especially when you're trying to get into a better p position, which you'll see later. Hull armor's not not great. It's only 90 millimeters at the front, but again, it's a medium tank. You don't want to take hits in this. Frontal tower of armor, really nice. Um, can bounce a couple of shots, especially if you're um, sitting behind something. You can actually uh, sort of sort of kind of side scrape and bounce a couple of shells off, it's how I've killed a couple of things like a, um, a Conqueror once from full health um, and he just couldn't penetrate my frontal armour um, the standard shell damage is a 122mm gun so very similar to the gun on the IS-6 in fact I think they're pretty much the same except this one fires a little bit slower the standard damage it's usually about 390 is the average um, 170 is the uh, sorry 175 is the average penetration. Although you can see the the range there, average rate of fire. That's a little bit better at the moment because I have I'm running food, so it has about 11 second reload, a little bit less than that. The um, rate of sorry the actual gun reload time. There you go, 11 seconds and 0.6. Uh, really fast turret traverse, which is great because you can circle enemies and just auto aim and click when you're straight onto them. Few range, not a bad view range of 196. Um, sorry, 396, not 196. I don't know what I'm do doing there. Um, and it's got an okay signal range, I'm not too worried about that anyway. So, yes, this tank um, also, has, also with soft stats, it has a very good camo rating. And as you can see, I'm working on camo there, though I will probably swap that out for six cents once I've got that at 100%. And then I'll probably work on some. Gun hand actually I may even swap them out for gun handling perks or something like that. Not sure which at this stage. Probably safe stowage as well on the loader because this thing gets ammo racked every game. Um so right now I'm gonna play a game for you while I'm, while I'm here and I'll just show you what you can do with this tank and then I'll show you uh, one of my replays as well. So we'll hit battle. And we'll see what we can do here. So we're top tier, which is nice. In fact, this is a very good our team and three on theirs. So looking at the teams, um, I haven't got stats enabled at the moment, so I just gave up. Um, mostly medium on our team. Well. I'll show you what you can do on this map. Um, what we're going to do is, on this map, we're going to go over here to this crest here because we can shoot over here, shoot down here, and cover this area if need be. 
as you can see we've got a Type 5 9 with us. And many people will say that this that tank is superior. I think they're about on par personally. Because they're a different tank. You, you don't play this tank the same way as you would at another well, you wouldn't play the Type 5 9 the same way as this. Type 5 a little bit faster, a little bit more maneuverable, a little faster reload. It's not the same tank, it's very different. Yeah, he's got the same idea as me. Hopefully he'll let me take the flat spot, because I really need the spot here. Now, the aim time on this is not very good. Let's see if we can get a shot in this Type 64. And we're just going to basically wait here and just get our shots if we can. Oh, I thought we could loop that through the little gap there, but no. The gun is a very has a very bad accuracy as well, so it's not very reliable, unfortunately. First blood. And that's where he takes him. Well, we're not really doing much here, so we're going to move move up, especially since that half clown's panzer. And there's a panther, so we're going to go for him. Give him a nasty surprise because the Type 5 9 has put a round into him. I've actually played a couple of platoons with uh, some of my mates who actually have Type 5 9s, and they're actually quite um, a good combo just to have one, at one each in the platoon of two. Oh. They're not coming around anymore, and plus we've got enough tanks there. There's a Yak Panther 2 in the middle there, so I think we should go try and take him. That's a nasty little tank, that thing. Yeah, he's on 600 health, 640 health, beg your pardon. Uh, he's showing us back to us, so we'll just put it around. Enemy armor is hit. Very nice shot there. And there he goes. Now, it looks like we've got a lot of uh, enemy tanks coming up here, so we need to get stuck in. Thing about this. this is what I like about the long reload of this is you can just pick your shots and get out of the way because it's, it's a better way of playing in my opinion. There's another Type 5 9. So. Oh. Well, he hit us for 260 but we th hit him for 300 and 87, so that's a better trade in my opinion. Here comes the Firefly, let's uh, make him pay for coming out. Oh no, the Panther's coming out. So that we hit him. I'm not going to get to reload on him, so we'll hit him instead. Let's see how we're keeping our armour towards those guys. So, we've got two options here. I think we'll follow up and take out or assist in the take out of this STA because this uh, the STA is quite a nasty little thing. So, we're going to aim for his engine. And uh, we don't quite get there in time because it's Type 5.9. Oh, we've kind of derped that shot and it went into his track. This is a real under a long reload, unfortunately. Enemy armor is damaged. Put a round into him. Unfortunately, we don't save our STA buddy, but that's. Oh, sorry, our AT7. Finish him off. Now, looking at the team, um, we seem to be having some issues here. There's an A43 there. Now we need to, yeah, we need to start possibly defending. Top five nine's following me, which is good. This is why these um, mediums are quite a uh, dangerous. Yeah, I need to aim in. 
Oh, that went dead centre too, but hit the mantlet. Wasn't in the best position anyway, so. Start aiming. Oh, no, he's getting away. That's okay. We'll. We should be okay here. Oh, there's artillery. We've got a man. No, this is stupid. We shouldn't do this. That Type 5 9 could, re could really help us right now. This is, the, this is the, uh, what I was saying before about the gun depression being quite difficult to manage sometimes. But another good round into him. kit now, so... This guy's not paying attention, so we'll punish that. Very good there. So we've pretty much won this, uh, this battle. One shot here because we've got a 22 second reload. Looks like that E25, I don't know what happened there. Looks like it was just sitting there, maybe disconnected or something like that. Well, we better get back into position. Just had to type in there, make sure the guys knew that my ammo rack was gone. Don't want them relying on me for whatever reason. I'll put up the flat aside. That way I don't have to worry about my gun depression as much. Oh dear. What's that Bulldog's uh, one shot for the 60... no, the 59? Oh come on, 59, you need to get... Oh, thank goodness. Well, that was a good game. Example of... Uh, and that was a live game, so <laughs> that's tank is. So, that's quite nice. Didn't get quite the highest XP, we got 1,021 XP, which is nice. Oh, you got Spartan Steel Wall, very good. Top 5 9 did well. Three kills. 46, yeah, that's alright. As you see, as we picked our shots well, we only missed one shot. But you've got to, this is the thing, you've got to, you've got to 
play this carefully and not fuck around too much. And we made an 80,000 credits out of this. So as this, another thing, no, thing to note about this tank, it's a very good money maker. Um, you can make a lot of money from this tank, and uh, it's also a lot of fun to drive. So yeah, and we made some nice XP, and that was just that wasn't double. That was just just exp just normal XP. So yes. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll stop this and I'll um, find a good replay and I will uh, play that for you and give you some commentary and also comment on other things you can do with this tank. Um, after about searching I couldn't find a decent replay that I liked so I'm going to play another battle for you. So, this tier 8 seems to really suck, especially when you seem to see tier 10s which are far outclass your vehicles, in most cases that is. So, which map was this again? We're on Insk, that's right. So, I really don't like playing Insk. Um, normally most people could tr traditionally go field, I'm actually going to run away and hide. Not really, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I kind of am, but I want to take a, a second line approach, so and I'll come in at the later stage of the game. This, this is what you got to decide when you're in a tank like this. Although, the enemy has a lot of mediums, so playing heavy in the town might actually be worth t uh, trouble. Yeah, the only heavy they have is a low, and they're, um, they're not that great. Their lower frontal plates are very weak, so we might actually... Yeah, we might go and help out the town, especially since there's only First five of us going this way. One's a light. T5 light tank. And we've got a stock tiger. Oh dear. This could be very bad. This could be very bad. Oh dear. Oh, well, let's keep going. Let's absolutely destroy these guys. This tank can actually do quite well in hull down positions on urban maps. So like that little porthole there. Because the tank's quite flat, as you can see there. Can I get any shots on anything over there? No, I can't. Someone seems to be... No, no, it's just me not, not driving very well. So... I don't know where the enemy team is, because only six tanks have been spotted so far. Or is that seven? That might be seven. Oh, there's some more. Oh, oh, there's an encounter map, of course. Of course, Dermiator, you should probably play the actual game rather than derping around, f derping around in this area. If he's fired... We're going to put a nice round to him. Oh, there's, there's a Centurion here. Sorry, Centurion, but oh, I have the better. Oh dear. He has the BL-10, which is not a nice gun at all. In fact, I hate... That was a far better target to take out. Uh, not too good. And oh, well that didn't end it. End well, did it? But our team's winning, so we held them off long enough. 
I think you deserve a better replay after that. But that wasn't too bad. We got 1700 damage in. Wow, that um, T71 got a top gun. That's awesome. Hmm. Very interesting. That that Pershing's done for. There's no way a Pershing could carry us or carry them. No. Uh, good game. That match only lasted three, four minutes. Hmm. So we've got 50k um, credits. Didn't make a huge amount, but then again, we didn't survive long enough to do more damage, although that game didn't seem to last much longer anyway. That's the thing with this tank, you tend to make more is the, if it's a longer game. If it's a quick game, you tend to not have enough opportunities to shoot at something. That's still alright though, for 4 minutes of work you get 50k. We got some good experience there. Fourth and team. Not too bad. And we got a WNA rating of 2,339. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That's quite a good game. Alright, well I'll give you I'll give you at least one more game. Another tier 8 match, we're getting very lucky with matchmaker, although it is during the day in Australia, so everyone is currently playing at night over in the US, so everyone probably is on slightly slight minority there with tier 7s and the, about a third of teams tier 6s, so it's about three thirds each. Although they look like they've got one more tier 7 I th think, yes I think they do, they've got one more tier 7. Oh, Let's go. yeah. So. Well, everyone knows this map is Provorovka. I don't like playing this map for many reasons. One, I need a lot of good gun depression to play this properly. And I'm, I'm running around in circles wondering what I'm going to do, because I just... Uh, I guess we'll go over here. We, you can actually get some good positions over here, so we'll play this side of the map. Would be my luck right now to... Um, just get ammo racked or something like that. Which is very often this tank. I've actually, I was one at one stage taking double repair kit, a, a small, large repair kit, and I was getting arrow racked twice, the three times a game it was really annoying. Um, it's, it's very hard to actually f f keep your damage up when your reload's 22 seconds. So I think sta safe stowage will be a very useful um, addition for this tank. I mean, you could go over wet ammo rack if you wanted to, but I don't think that would be worth it. I think it'd be worth your time to um, use vents or optics. I think the idea is use op you either use gun rammer, optics, and vertical stabilizer, or instead of optics, vents, or instead of vents or optics, use um, vertical stabilizer or gun lane drive. So there we go, a nice little hit there. And I use food as well to keep. Um, the gun handling pretty comfortable. I like comfortable gun handling. Um, First blood. And this tank is quite difficult to do well in if you don't have decent gun handling. I need people to start lighting up those tanks there because. And we track him as well, which is very nice. I don't think we've been spotted yet. Yes, we have. Let's get out of here. Out of there. What's going on? They, no one is resetting the cap. Oh, great. This team. I didn't think that would hit. Oh dear. Looks like I'm going to have to go try and save the cap, eh? I don't think I'm going to have time. What are they doing? Oh, they, oh, they reset the cap. Oh, they left the cap, so, well, that's... It's not a worthwhile shot there. I haven't got a worthwhile shot here either. Let's just get up there and start doing damage. 
They've already lost oh, four players. I don't know what those guys at the back are doing. This is going to be rather painful. Just so you are aware, this is actually a live game. I'm not actually, I haven't actually recorded this, I'm actually playing this live. Well, another T-34-3. Oh, let's... This is an important kill and da damaging shot. He is not paying attention to us, so we'll punish him again once we've reloaded. We don't care about that fury. Hit. Oh, the fury just did some damage to us, but we don't care. It's only a fury. Oh, I don't know where that went. Must have gone just right over him. That's okay, we're almost reloading again. Again, the, re the reload on this isn't bad once you get you crept to 100% and start getting the, um, the extra bits and pieces, like food and stuff like that. And I imagine once I've got um, Brothers in Arms, I will probably... There we go, taking out that tier 8 tank. That tier 8 premium heavy tank. I've got one of those as well, I quite, like, quite enjoy it when I, I'm in the mood for it. Oh, oh, that was a fun snapshot. Didn't uh, do any damage though, but oh, there's an E25 up there. Oh. See, we've managed to pull the back of this game. Not myself though, I've, I've merely done just a bit of damage here and there. There. Being a bit stupid here, I think, but it's it's well worth the uh, trouble. Oh, this is not worth it. I'm trading damage for no reason. I did want to get a damaging hit in and try and kill him, but I don't think I get to do that. Oh, is it? That was dumb. This is very dumb. I'm getting greedy, that's the problem. This is the thing, one thing you've got to be careful of. You can't get greedy in this tank. You can't afford to take hits. Double kill. That was lucky. Good. Should probably re repair my um, ammo rack. It's kind of annoying having a large re reload. We're, qu we're quite comfortable right now. Uh, again, this is very. Um, this could be fine, but then it also could be quite painful because we need to. Oh, missed. That's alright, we'll just keep. No, we're not going to be able to get a shot on him. So we'll just pull back. If he wants to shoot us, he has to crest the ridge and we'll get him. There's no arty, so we can sort of pull back and do stuff. Shouldn't tip fate. Oh, there he is. He's fired, but I'm not gonna... Just at this stage, there's an E25. They're quite dangerous, as you've seen by one of my last replays. Uh, I don't really want to risk... I'm not gonna risk anything at this stage. I hell in the world. Oh, bugger, really? Oh, this isn't good. Quick. Oh. At least the Firefly pulled through. <laughs> nah, we've pretty much won this. I 
as you, as you can see, it's actually fairly easy if you know how to play your medium tanks and you understand how to deal with the lack of gun depression. You can actually could do fairly well on this game because, as you see, the last three battles I've had have all been fairly high W and high damaging games. Not survive them all, but you don't necessarily have to survive them all to do well. Because I'm feeling generous, I think I'll give you a third, a third, well, sorry, fourth game. And this will be actually probably my longest video to date, so this might take a while to upload. It. So yeah. So yeah, T4, three. Good premium tank, definitely worth the cash if, or, and gold. Um, or, always, I've always, and it's also actually quite cheap on, on special, I've got it for 9,300 gold, which is quite cheap for most um, tier 8 premium tanks. The I remember originally when the, which tank was that I'm thinking of, oh the time 5 was 7,500. So just go on special, buy some, buy some, this thing makes loads of cash if you have combined with premium. As you can see though, you can't be greedy in this tank because I was early and I was being near to take that damage. I didn't, wasn't shooting at anything, I wasn't going to shoot anything, I was just waiting. So yeah. So we came top of our team in damage again. It's actually quite easy to do that. Um, which is really awesome. Cause Jeez, not bad. As at the moment, this tank is really is my favourite, and you can probably see why, because it's mobile, it has a gun, it's it's comfortable in its handling, so it can its aim time isn't too bad, it reloads pretty quickly. For, well, a lot of people complain that reloaders and tanks that fire every three unload and they just die after firing a couple of shots. This, it forces you, because you have a long reload, to go in, pop a shot off, pop back, come back, um, and just keep repeating that. Ah, now we've got... Let's go! Tier 8 battle. This could be a really bad loss. Looking at it. As you can see, there's three tier 9 heavies, whereas we've only got one. Although we have an, an M46 pattern, which in its own right is a very good tank. I know because I own one, and I absolutely love it. At the moment, we're having a fight because um, it's <laughs> been derping a little bit, but that's probably just me. Let's see. So a T37. Oh, there's that triple one. Oh no, that's a different. That's a different uh, tank there. Oh dear. First blood. Another good reason this tank's quite quite fun. Thinking about this, this is probably a dumb thing to do because out of the middle of nowhere. So let's get a little, arty, a little bit arty safe. I know I'm knocking trees out. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, what was that? That was our 110 derping out pretty bad. Looks like. Now, am I hold down this? I am kind of, I might just pull back a tiny bit, actually no, I won't, I'll do this. We didn't penetrate their armor. As you can see, we bounced right off our turret there, and then we avoided Artie. I wonder if someone's seen that I'm, they might have uh, recent W8 values for, for vehicle, and this, I've actually been consistently playing quite well this tank. So they might see that I've actually got comparatively blue stats, which is, um, uh, what would they call it? It's not Unicum, but it's the one below it. I think it's, I don't know if it's very good, or extremely good or something like that. It's, I don't know, it's, my performance in this tank is fairly good, but that's because I, I'm just comfortable with it. 
And this is just one of those tanks you, you can, you, if you gel with the tank, you can actually do quite well. Try to take that snapshot there. Probably wasn't really the point. Um, that AMX is um, taking some hits. Nah, I didn't think I could. It was kind of cheeky to think that I could hit that AMX. Although he might pop up and we can finish him off. Um, there we go. That's a very dangerous tier 9 heavy tank there that we just got. Uh, we can go back to our corner now, I think. Oh, there's a. Um, no, we don't need to kill, kill him in the end. Um, I think it's time to do what mediums do best and flank. Oh crap, and it's ended up me, just me on this corner. Uh, this is not good for me. Alright, we'll we can out DPM him. But we can't out DPM the the other tank, the heavy tank. Although if he comes back. <laughs> game. Although, both teams are pretty much folded. It's still very... Oh, what's that? What was that Yag Tiger doing? <laughs> he just rushed down there. He was trying to save me, but that was pretty silly. Oh, boy. So what have they got to deal with? They've got too much to deal with. They're not going to win this. Especially if they're splitting up like this. I mean, look at look at this. I'm probably being a bit overly critical here, but what is it? What is it? This thing can't take on two heavy tanks. He should run off and kill their artillery. What's he got? Is that the hundred mil? Oh, very nice, Arty. Is that one? That's one tank I'm looking forward to uh, starting. Just looking at the, looking at how fast this thing is, it looks quite enjoyable. And oh, they've got an AFK. Oh, we're gonna, we should win this. Oh, oh, that's unlucky. What the? It's a T29 with a 76 mm gun. Oh goodness, he must have come from the, um, what's that tank? The, um, E2 Sherman. That's where I went through, but I played the, um... One of our tracks is damaged. Ammo storage is hit. We're lucky it didn't blow. Oh god. Oh dear. This could be very bad. Oh dear. Oh, you just missed that. So object just did a nice hit into that fella. He should be reloaded by the... By the oh, there we go. E75. E75 must be quite good. He doesn't receive any damage. He's got four kills. Now, ideally in this situation, you'd still have to cap and make the scout come to you. Because if that scout wants to, he could lead you around the map the whole game and you'd never see him again. And you don't want to draw. E75 is... oh, he's leaving the cap, he's gonna... The cap... Or you... A... End... Up... With a... Draw...
Yeah, as I said in the chat just then, um, if, you, if it's just a light tank left over, you should always hop on Cap because it forces him to make the move rather than you having to go find him. Because if you think about it, you, you could have him, he could go wherever he wants and you may never find him and you end up with a draw so no one wins. You don't want that, you want to win. So hop on Cap, he'll either hide and you'll never see him again, you cap out, or he'll come out and you can just kill him. And if he, even if he killed these other two guys, um, he, he's not going to he's not going to beat an E75. An E75 is far too powerful to take him, unless the E75 is an idiot. And I don't think from having four kills, this guy's a moron. Splitting up at this stage is probably a bit silly, but I mean, it's not. Yeah, I think I think this one's going to be okay. Well, that AMX 39, he's got five kills. Is he from a t particular clan? Retro, I don't know that clan. Not off the top of my head at least. I'll check both the M75 stats and the AMX 3090 stats after this. Something I'll, um, oh, here we go. Oh, he's been tracked. Keep your sides angled. Ooh. This could be bad. Oh dear. I don't know what that E seventy five is doing. What's he doing? He should keep his front angled towards the. Hopefully, that Artie can smash him. He's heading over there. Oh, this Five could be, minute warning. This could be very tense. All he has to do is keep coming up and resetting. And he took a third of that E75's health out. Although he could be running dangerously low on ammunition. There he is again. Oh, he what a donkey! Was that a bounce? Holy crap! What an amazing game! Oh no! Holy shit! <laughs> oh no! And this is live, guys. This is not. This is not a. Oh, what a! This guy's a really good player. This could be very, very bad. <laughs> oh dear, don't go side on. Point your armour. 18 seconds left now. I can't believe that 3090 got away with that, that's amazing. Ten seconds left though and he's he's lost. I think no, I think we're gonna win this. Yeah, that was either his last bit of ammo or he didn't think the um maybe didn't bank on the object seven oh four being being back. We go there's the win. But boy oh because that was just amazing. Just check these post game stats and I'll give you here with that. Okay, so we only got 1,400 damage, but 743 spotting damage was always nice. And uh, on the EV-75, he didn't do a lot of damage, because his, his shots do 500 damage. So he probably was kill securing. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but it's always interesting to see how that goes. What's his stats like? Just having a look at that. He's 49%, so he's average. He's not bad. That's not even that's not a bad hit rate either. Let's have a look at this fella. He's fairly average too, he was doing very well. 
Um, what's his? Let's have all his vehicles. His best victories. Ah, that's one of his best tanks. Yeah, so he's not. He wasn't an amazing player. You don't have to be an amazing player to do well in this game. It's useful, but yeah. Again, these guys were average. Statistically, I'm slightly better player than these guys, but they did really well. They, and these guys did the right thing. They managed to stay in the cap and cap out. I mean, if if they'd come out and tried to take this guy, I reckon they would have lost. Because he killed the E75, and all the Amex 39 has to do is just circle this fella until he's dead, and then try and take out this fella. Hmm. Really good game there. Especially to watch, that was just amazing. I just couldn't believe how well that 1390 did. So yeah. Even that wasn't a bad game for, for W and 8. So, yeah. Okay, well guys, I'm going to leave you here with that. Um, just to, as a conclusion, T34-3, definitely worth the gold. Um, and if you don't have one, I would definitely um, recommend one if you like medium tanks. Um, the only thing to note is the bad gun depression module damage is really bad, so um, you're probably better off getting a um, safe stowage on this as soon as possible, which I will probably out fit out this guy with that and this guy with six cents, and I'll probably put um, some gun handling and driving skills on these guys once I've 100 percented that. Alternatively, you could put on Brothers in Arms, but I think those would be a lot more important, especially for the ammo rack, because that's really frustrating when your ammo rack just goes out. So, um, that's all for me. If you liked what you've seen today, please subscribe. Please um, like the video if you enjoyed it as well, and I'll see you around.